pray for your favour to dwell with our most gracious Sovereign Lord, King Charles. And so replenish him with the grace of your Holy Spirit, that he may always follow your will and walk in your ways. Bishop Ruth and I have just shared in the proclamation of the new King to Somerset here in Taunton. And it's been an immensely moving occasion. Uh, a large crowd of people gathered in the centre of Taunton. Um, words from the Lord Lieutenant and the High Sheriff. Lots of representatives of different aspects of Somerset life gathered together. Uh, and we've, we've given thanks for Queen Elizabeth, um, prayed for the new King, uh, and thought about this change that we're going through together. Yeah, and I found it a very, very poignant moment. Um, just this morning as we came out, I, I actually put on my, my badge uh, that I had given to me from the Queen as a, a chaplain to the Queen. And, um, and I've just taken it off because actually we've come to the end of that era. So giving thanks for her life is giving thanks for 70 years of memory, um, of, of consistency and constancy of uh, faithful service to us and yet that's now handed on mm. in inheritance as it were to her son Charles and to welcome him now as King Charles to sing the anthem with his name to pray for him that he not only follows in his mother's footsteps but actually follows the God who was so faithful to her and will be to him and I think that's really important and it's just lovely to be able to do that with a new colleague. <laughs> so um, that sense of one chapter coming to an end and a new one beginning is true for us as well. And I think that's the beauty of the prayers, the words that we share together. And to do that with colleagues across civic society who um, we know and love and you're getting to know. Yeah. So it's been very special. And a sense, a sense I think that the last three days, who would have imagined that we'd go on such a journey mm, so mm. quickly uh, and that, that need to be together to make sense of this. We're standing here in Taunton Minster, which like churches across our diocese is open. Behind me, I don't think you can see it, there is a, a queue of people waiting to sign the Book of Condolence. Uh, and I think we need these deep communal experiences right now to come to terms with all this change. Mm. Mm. Uh, and so I think it's wonderful we're here uh, and it's wonderful that we're together.